everyone. Welcome to Newsmakers. I am Ramita Khurana Sahani, your host for today, bringing to you inspiring stories and some amazing people who are making a difference in an era of digital deception and hackers. We are honored to have someone who is trying to make India digitally safe, a person who's working upon the cyber security of automation. We welcome you and we are honored to have the CEO of Hackers Era, Mr. Vikas Chaudhary. Welcome Mr. Vikas on Newsmakers. Thank you. So Mr. Vikas, I want to ask you that we heard a lot about cyber, cyber attacks on banks and corporations. But how big is this hidden problem of vehicle hacking? Just imagine, you know, what if your Instagram account get hacked? What you will lose? You will lose your account access. You will lose your course. followers. They can post you. They can defame you. Yes. But uh, okay. So, but in the case of vehicle hacking, you will lose your life. Imagine you're driving your car on a highway and suddenly there is a 360 degree turn, or your vehicle is going reverse directions when you are moving forward. What you will do? You will not only lose your your life, but you will lose other other people's around you, life of that people's also. So this this is that's why it's very important to to secure the cars because cars are now nowadays nothing but a computer on wheels. That's very interestingly put. Yeah. Cars are nothing but computer on wheels. Yes, yes. But I have this question in mind that what about like we hear so much about Tesla? Like yeah. you know, a car like that uh -huh. can get hacked. Generally, what about Indian cars? Yeah. Something like BYD, suppose mm -hmm. for example, we see BYD on roads. Yeah. Can that get hacked? Yes, yes. So, so you see the more the cars have features, the more the connectivity, there is a Bluetooth, there is a Wi-Fi, there is a the radio frequency, there is a keyless, there is an internet. So more the features, more vulnerabilities, more connected, more <coughs> vulnerabilities. Yes, it can be hacked. And um, many researchers have already uh, done the, the, the POC, proof of concept of the hacking of those vehicles already. You must have seen the one news, not only forget about Tesla, BYD. You must have recent, let's say six months ago, there was a news, Rolls Royce got hacked in 60 seconds. So the more high technology yeah. there is in a car, mm -hmm. no matter how advanced it is, mm -hmm. the more vulnerable it is mm -hmm. to get hacked. Yes. That, that's amazing. This, this I never knew. That's Yeah, it's, it's, it's public domain. The video has been released on the internet by, by hacker group that they targeted one of the, the vehicles and which vehicles was in parking. They were able to unlock the car, start the car and drive away with the car. It was a Rolls Royce. So you can see. Wow. It, but it's not important that luxury cars only get hacked. The normal car can also get hacked because car have a vehicle networks. So similarly like your laptop have a Ethernet Wi-Fi, similarly car have a vehicle networks and which hackers can you know play with that. That's a playbook for hackers. So I think the vulnerability lies not only with the luxurious yes. cars, but the normal cars, because all the cars nowadays have Wi-Fi, yeah. they are technically developed. Mm -hmm. So it is vulnerable, it's easy for hackers yes. to hack your cars. Yes. Now, Mr. Vikash, I have read a lot about you mm -hmm. and that you come from a rural background. Yeah. What made you pave your way mm -hmm. towards cyber security mm -hmm. and something related to cyber security of cars? Yeah. So I'll tell you, and brought up in Bihar basically it's a very rural areas uh, uh, you know in India and um, my journey was not easy like when I started I was not knowing good English just forgot the technical technicalities comes later you know so I was not knowing good English then I you know, started learning you know in I have done engineering by the way so apart from engineering my, my always focus was to you know learn something apart from academics and this is how I started so I started learning hacking books I have read almost 1800 books so from learning the books and then developing our own concept in hacking, I have been ranked 51 over world by Microsoft in cybersecurity researcher in 2018. So my journey was, you know, slowly I was taking pace into cybersecurity. Then I created a course on Udemy platforms, which caused a worldwide popularity of 3 million users. Mm. And from, you know, ed tech, uh, you know, engineers now providing cybersecurity services from one bedroom apartment. Right now we are 46 people. So we are leading cybersecurity providers, uh, not only in India, but abroad. We have customers from Europe region, USA, Malaysia, APAC regions, India regions. So we are serving almost 80% uh, of customers worldwide. You just name it and we have work on the car. 
So Vikas Chaudhary, an engineer, yeah. he started as an engineer and with innovation and collaboration and his habit of reading, mm -hmm. you know, it has been an amazing journey for you, I guess. Yeah. So when we go and look for a car, suppose I want to buy a yeah. car, yeah. I look at some significant features like airbags. Yeah. So how important it is to look at the level of cyber security of a car. So Can you please explain that? Very good questions. Like when you, when as a normal person, even I'm go, I was going the car, bike to car. I was just saying, okay, how many airbag is there? You know, how many? If they have a six airbags, seven airbags, or ten airbags, we don't ask dealers see whether they, my car is hack proof or not. So for everyone, we, we should start asking whether this features has been secured or not. So I'll tell you a very honest answer. Like in India, all the cars which you see on road are are hackable. Almost eighty percent cars are on the roads are hackable. So because the OEM have not thought of the cyber security uh, measures before that. But now in India have a regulations, India will have regulations. So they, they are started preparing for it. As a, as a consumers, uh, when, we, when we buy car, we just think about airbag, but cyber security is new safety. So we should ask about uh, you know, whether my car is safety from cyber attack. So that we should ask. So viewers, as we can see that the cars on Indian roads are also vulnerable they can also hinder with cyber attacks. Now, this is the biggest fear mm -hmm. in the minds of Indian citizens right now. Mm -hmm. But Vikash, what is the government doing right now? Mm -hmm. What are the rules and regulations? You have just spoken about that, mm -hmm. yes, the government has laid down some rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Could you please reflect some light on it? Yeah, so government have announced uh, one regulation, which is AIS 189. Yeah, 189 is a regulation <laughs> number which is related to cyber security management system in, in automotive sectors. So it, it put, uh, it's like a mother, basically, which have a strict mother, which have rules and rules and you come home by this, uh, the, the, this time. So it's, it's like a mothers and parenting, you can say, for, for automakers. So if, you, if I'm making a cars, I have to, if I have to, if I have to launch a vehicles, so I need to pass these regulations. So government of India is taking proactively this matters and uh, Right now, uh, the AIS 189 is in draft stage, but uh, government of India is planning to finalize this soon, very soon. I think by 2027, it will be rolled out completely and all the manufacturers which are developing the products go for the compliance before launching the vehicles on the road. So let's say if your if your auto manufacturers are planning to launch a vehicle in 2028, obviously it's three to four years of journey. Hmm. And you also need to pass this compliance because it's coming in 2027. So you need to start today to secure all your products. Of course. So I think it's not too late. To, we still have two years times and industry can fulfill these gaps. So AS 189 is the mother of all laws for the automotive cyber, cyber security. So is AS 189 laws enough for the Indian cars or do we need stricter laws other than that? So AS 189 is adapted by, you know, there is a United Nations regulation R155. So okay. AS 189 is like a sister. So which is nothing but the goal is same, but adapted all these uh, the rules and adapted our conditions, our environment conditions, our uh, the roads conditions. And based on that, they have modified the, the regulations. And this is how AS 189 has been developed. There are not only AS 189 compliance. Indian government have AS 190 for secure software downloads. Every vehicle nowadays, it's like a phone where there's a download features of softwares. So government have also another regulation AIS 190. Again, government also have regulation AIS 76, which is for digital key. You can unlock the car using vehicle, using a mobile phone, yes. So that have that should also have a regulations. So this, this is AIS 076 numbers. Again, government have AIS 140, which is related to GPS. And GPS also needs security. So they are going to, that's why the government is taking very proactively to have the, all these compliance, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, uh, you know, finalized, notified for automated manufacturers, and manufacturers will have to uh, start uh, uh, preparing for these compliances. So the Indian government is working hard yeah. towards making India a safe, safe place, yes. and even the vehicles mm -hmm. becoming safe. But how do you see that nowadays smartphones can get easily hacked? Is it that easy to get a car get hacked? Uh, I think uh, I'll tell you very easy than smartphone hacking. For a smartphone hackings, 
what I have to do I have to send you some links I have to send some photos or I have to install application into your phone and then I can get control it so in car hacking this is not the process I can unlock your car without key fob I can start the car without key fob I can drive away with your car without key fob so this can be done without touching your vehicles so you see how easy process it is but again the knowledge required to hack this type of car it's it's a it's, it's a very niche area so knowledge are very you know protect uh, sec secrets at this moment so you mean the hackers are that technically advanced that without the key they can actually hack the car yeah. and they do not need the key to actually open the yeah. car and get inside it it's just the knowledge that they have that they can just so I'll tell you one, one example, in Delhi, most of the vehicle theft happen in India. So all these thieves are using high-tech device to unlock the car, to you know start the car and drive away with the car. So it's already, uh, there are a lot of cases reported, already reported, like more than one lakh cases has been reported on this vehicle thief. So there are hackers out there yeah. who are actually having access to the cars through the digitally advanced technology that is there in their hands yes. and there is a kind of there is so much of car thefts that are taking place yes. and for that we have hackers era mm -hmm. CEO with us who can shed some light on it mm -hmm. but Vikash I want to know mm -hmm. that what is the advice that mm -hmm. you want to give mm -hmm. to the automakers mm -hmm. like how they can increase this cyber security and what kind of investment they can make mm -hmm. to make it a you know a better place a safe environment for us okay so for automakers still there is a time for you know government is notifying in india basically of ais 189 in 2027 you can start preparations for ais 189 which is the first uh, you know level of defense that you can make into your car which says two things one is your car component should be protected by cyber security measures it's have, it should have some kind of protections hmm. and then when vehicle is launched on road there should be uh, way to monitor those events so you can so this is this is you can integrate a security operation center which you can monitor all the fleet on the roads which is running like okay my car is safe so i mean this if there is any happening any incident is happening you can get you can you can trigger sms you can trigger ambulance you can trigger police uh, you can trigger safety safety reactions on the vehicles so people will be safe because your consumer will be safe uh, don't take it lightly for the compliance. Of okay? course. Okay. Uh, I, I think uh, we need to have a proper security countermeasures inside the vehicles and then on, and then, then you will be able to go for compliance. Don't wait until, you know, the compliance hit you or if you, let's say, not, not protect cyber security into your vehicles, what you will do? You will lose your brand trust. You will lose your, uh, uh, there will be penalties on the OEMs. There will be market reputations on a stake. So this is my suggestions to OEMs who take it seriously. So OEMs have to follow AS 189 nowadays to actually bring a car on road in India. Yeah. But what are the roadblocks that OEMs are facing mm -hmm. to follow or to implement mm -hmm. one AS 189? Mm -hmm. Like how will it change the way cars are built in India? Correct. So earlier thought process was to build the cars to create you know, yeah. fancy display add more features and they didn't think about the cyber security measures but now because of the regulations because of awareness in, inside the markets uh, OEMs are you know uh, trying to think about cyber security and it's a huge investment so for the OEMs it is like a huge investments to, to secure each and every components of the vehicles place into a vehicles and then vehicle level cyber security and then release into market so it's a, it's a huge investment and I think I don't think so that OEMs uh, uh, are struggling uh, at this moment and to secure AS one again. They are just uh, preparing it slowly. They are they are they are taking it slowly. They are they are they are carrying this. Uh, yes, that I can see. So what is the future of the vehicle security? Mm -hmm. So what's coming next? Mm -hmm. We really want to know. Um, I think uh, people are getting more awareness that okay. So cyber security every every day hacking news are coming in the market so people are getting more awareness they will start asking the questions to dealership whether my car is hack proof or not so it will keep put pressures on the oems to also uh, have a cyber security measures you will see very soon you will see an ad like this okay earlier ad, ad, one like, ad was like this okay uh, okay 
and then you know, how much efficiency or your vehicles but uh, soon the advertisement of the car will be uh, how secure this it is this much malice is giving by my car yeah. and zero hack in zero 5 hacking. years okay. or zero hack in 10 years so you will soon see this kind of news in the market that means like the oems are you know taking it seriously if this will happen the oems are taking it seriously and they are taking it seriously for customers uh, it's not for their brand only it's customer safety yes so according to vikas chaudhry here not only your car should have a significant feature of mileage of how luxurious it is mm -hmm. the color of the car mm -hmm. but the most significant feature of a car is that it is hack free yeah so vikas mm -hmm. suppose i am the owner of a hacked car okay so if i want to resell my car mm -hmm. can i manipulate mm -hmm. with the odometers and the details the gps details mm -hmm. can i do that okay so let's say how do you know that your car is hacked first of all okay when you see that someone when you are driving the car there is sudden speed increase or a, or a, something you must have observed that whenever i'm going someone is falling because someone have my gps things so they are spying on you basically let's say your car is hacked or you don't know whether it's hacked or not or whether you are a hacker itself and you have placed a hacking gadget into your device and then you sell to your victims which your target and then you will create some kind of uh, catastrophic events other person will not able to detect it that is true like they will not able to see whether the car is hacked or not they'll say okay car is nice i can see there is no accident okay i will buy it hmm. and then they will fall into trap this could happen in in future so i'm just giving you that how these crimes are happening using you know using cell phones using digital arrest this could happen uh, in the vehicle also like vehicle will be locked completely you know driving and then they will demand you for ransom to unlock the vehicles or put you into safe place place otherwise they will keep your car like a dancing car so they will they will like they will go forward reverse and you will be locked how so, to know it the car is hacked uh if there is a mechanical failure you will get to know by there is a noise or there is signal there is something yes but unfortunately in cyber attack it's a hacker choice they will they will fulfill their their way whenever they want so there is no way to you know uh, uh detect it at this moment of the, whether car is hacked or not that's why there is a technically called the in vehicle network intrusion detection system which will detect if, if any attack happen and then it will uh, push the results or detected threats to police stations or something or or manufacturers or customer also hmm. and customer relative also so this is what we are what as 189 is telling to oems to implement it so viewers we are thankful to mr vikas chaudhry a passionate individual who has shed an important and a significant light on the emerging challenges that the automotive cyber security is facing currently so we are happy to have hackers era for us to create a digitally safe environment if you have an inspiring story to share we have our email given below do share with us your inspiring stories on this couch thank you